Four, we have video of a dangerous robbery at a business off of Sunshine and Glenstone in Springfield. These two men ran into Vape CBD Kratom Superstore, held the cashier at gunpoint, stole money and merchandise. Elizabeth Van Mitri joins us live with what we know and how much was stolen. Elizabeth? Yeah, Steve, that's the part that's the most baffling for those who work at this store right here behind me. They stole a little bit of cash from behind the register and some inexpensive disposable vapes. Tonight, the Springfield Police Department is hoping for your help identifying the men who did this. Business is as usual today at Vape CBD Crapedom Superstore. Hours before, this is what it looked like outside after two men came in and held a worker at gunpoint. So they come in through the door here and they just quickly approach this area of the store where the register is. Heather Wood is the area director for the store. She says the worker on duty last night is shaken up but doing okay. The worker called Wood a little after 10 right after she called the police to tell them that the store was robbed and she was held at gunpoint. My first thought is, oh my God, is she okay? It, I wanted to make sure she was good. It's not fun to have a gun in your face, you know? The whole encounter caught on camera. You can see the two men walk through the door here. The worker is out of frame. She came forward greeting them as if they were regular customers. He dropped his bag right about here, picked it up and told her to put the money in the bag. The two white men were both wearing masks, one in a cream hoodie, another in a gray one with figures on it. One carried a backpack that looked like a monster. All the clothes, shoes, hoodies looked brand new. The business doesn't carry a lot of cash. Wood says they often can't even break a $100 bill. What did the robbers go for? Cheap vapes. Disposable vape stuff, not even any of the expensive product, just $20 each disposable vapes. And they only took a couple handfuls worth. Less than $1,000 total. So far, no arrest made. Police say this business did everything right, especially having video cameras throughout. So it's very helpful for us to actually have a picture of the suspect, and we can definitely go, okay, this makes it easier. We know what we're looking for. One change you'll see when you stop by, two employees on duty. So that no one's alone in here. So the Springfield Police Department is looking for your help identifying those men there. So if you do have any information about that, go ahead and give them a call. Now, in that video, you may have seen some dogs sniffing out here. The dogs were never able to pick up a scent last night, as well as you may have seen them doing some fingerprinting. They were able to do some fingerprinting inside because the robbers were not wearing gloves. It would be a big part of their investigation. Reporting in Springfield, Elizabeth Van Mitri, back to you.